What's going on guys? Chris back with you with another product review video. This right here in front of us is the initial force adjustable dumbbell from 15 pounds to 55. Now, obviously most of you guys will probably want to pick up two of these. Right now I only have one. And the reason why you would get one of these is for convenience. As you see here, here's my puppy. You can't see her on camera, but obviously those are her little paws right there. Anyway, she's gonna join us for this review. So. This is sheer convenience, and what do I mean by that? Well, obviously your other option is a dumbbell like that, which definitely takes time to get new plates on, or a rubberized dumbbell like that. So obviously, in regards to this one or this one, as long as you have it ready to go, awesome. Very nice as well if you have the space. Now again, this goes from 15 to 55 pounds. Now obviously if you're doing curls, if you're doing shoulders, you're gonna need two of those. To be honest with you, I mostly use the adjustable for triceps, for squat and shoulders. There's many exercises you can do, obviously with one, but two would be much better. You could also do kettlebell swings with it as well. It's not as tightly compacted, obviously, so you do need a watch, especially if you're swinging below your hips. Now we'll get some better shots of me using it, but I just wanna show you the click-in system. Now it comes with this tray. I already actually have it set to 45 pounds. It comes with this stand tray, and these are your individual plates here, as my puppy likes to check it out there. Very nice and well made. They even have like this kind of um, a plastic type of covering over them. So the metal's inside of these. And so that just kind of clips in like that. And then what I did notice, especially if I'm doing it like this, I'll have to adjust that just a little bit before I set it down. So when I take it out, and then I set it down sometimes, especially just one of them. I have to kind of tilt the other one just a little bit before I set it down. But I notice it's a lot easier, especially if you don't use that. And so in between sets, you would set it down like that on the ground there. But if you're clicking it over, then you slide it in, pop it in just like that. And then let's go to 35. One rotation over. We'll get some close-up shots in just a second. There's 35, put it on down, 25, put it on down, 15, put it on down. And I did notice that it does slip in nicer with the stand the lighter you go. So let's come up to 25, we'll put it in, 35, we'll put it in. 45, and maybe I'm just not lining up. See, that's better right there. And then 55 is gonna take the whole entire weight off of the stand like that. So that was real time right there, clicking from 15 to 55. Setting it back in, and then watch this. Going from 55 all the way down, clicking to 15, pulling it out, and there's your 15 right there. Now, if you're worried about safety, I've used this many times for triceps, using 45 pounds, lifting it up over my head, and none of these have come loose, none of these have jiggled on me or anything like that. It stays nice and firm. Let's go ahead and click back over to 35, pull it out. As you can see, those plates aren't gonna come out. Now, real briefly, before we do show a closer up shot of me using them, let me go ahead and talk a little bit about, this is a silicone handle right here, and it's something that you gotta get used to a little bit, just to be honest with you, especially for biceps, I'm used to something a little bit thinner, like this here, that has kind of a hand grip like this, where this one is the same roundness all the way over. It just takes a little bit of getting used to. In a perfect world, I would prefer a metal handle maybe. I'm not exactly sure. The silicone grip is nice. But if you are wondering, that grip is about five and one fourth approximate. That's just the silicone portion. That's just the silicone portion right here, not including that little lip there, which is not really part of the grip. And as you can see from the hexagon weight, it's just a little thicker, obviously, throughout where this goes thick and then thins out where your hands are here, where this one, it's like this here. Now for space saving, definitely a cool product. All right guys, now we're switching over and we're gonna get some better shots, closer up angles, so you guys can see it a little bit better here. Once again, a nice stand as we can see, and the clicking system here. So let's go ahead and show you this here. 
So here is your obviously your marker where you're on, so 15. And then you rotate clockwise, 25, 35, 45. You'll actually hear a click and 55. So let's go ahead and rotate back around. As you can see, that fast, literally pulling it up right there. Do your exercise. Setting it back in, clicking over to 25, doing your shoulders. 35 biceps, definitely a really smooth system. I do like that as well. But like I already mentioned, it does take a little bit getting used to, especially with a longer handle than I'm typically used to. I'm not saying it's bad or worse. I'm just saying that it takes a little bit of getting used to compared to something a little bit more compact like this, as you can see in my hand here from the rubberized ones here. Let's give you a better reference. As you can see here, my hand right in the middle here and with a little bit on each side, and then my hand right in the middle here with a little bit more on each side there. And again, just a little thicker in the middle there. That's a little bit better of a shot, a little thicker in the middle, and then goes down there like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and go in the other room where there's a little bit better light. Let's show you a couple exercises that I like to do with them. Okay, something I just actually noticed that I wanna show you that's pretty important. So when I was talking about not falling off for safety purposes. That's probably something that has crossed your mind. As we lift it up, obviously we're on 15. Let me flip it over here. As we see right here, you see a little divot here and you see a little divot here. Those are safety tab pushers. As we lift this over, these right here, let me go ahead and set that down for a split second. This pushes in like this here. So once that's triggered in there, that allows the handle to twist on both sides here. What that means is, let me go ahead and click it over to 25. So we have one plate on each side with 25. As you can see me wiggling it and you hear it clicking, but it's not falling off. That's because it's not being triggered by our little tabs down here, being able to then trigger the weights. Great safety feature. Also, I didn't show you, but there are little finger grips right here if the camera's picking that up. And that gives you a grip on it like this if you are moving it to a different location. And so you don't smash your fingers as well. That's really cool. All right, obviously this is not where I work out, but the lighting is really good in here. So let's go ahead and show you what I use it for. Obviously I'm gonna use a little bit lighter weight, but we're gonna grab it and we're gonna do triceps with it like this. Obviously, this is what I mostly use it for, to be honest. And then some squat downs, come up with a shoulder press like this. You could do one arm shoulder, obviously. Two would be better. You could stand still and get your biceps in. Hammer curls, a little tricky with only one, but again, if you wanna work one arm, I also do abs like this or bleak sides. This again, if you're only using one, let me scoot back without hitting my bed. You do need to be a little careful about this, but you could do some kettlebell type swings like this. You could get both hands on it because it is a little bit wider of a grip like this. You could double grip it and do squats. So there's a lot of options to do with only one. Two obviously would be better but that's an investment. And then it's gonna be a little off camera. I don't know if you guys can see this, but, and clicking over to 35. And sorry if I'm out of breath, I'm at 7,100 feet in Colorado right now. And so you get tired a little quicker. I'm used to California beach weather, or I should say sea level. Overall, not bad. Pump it up a little bit. Get some striations going. Well guys, overall, I think the product is actually really cool. I think it's a really cool concept. I've always been intrigued about adjustable weights. I think the quality is really nice. It's built well. It's definitely an investment, but for space saving, if it intrigues you, definitely give it a shot. The company is actually offering you guys a discount code that I will link below. Use the code at checkout and get your discount on these as well. But just like all my videos, guys, please don't go into debt for anything that I do make a video about. But if the adjustable weight or weights intrigue you, then go ahead and purchase on away. Once again, those links are gonna be directly below in the description box. Lastly, if you guys wouldn't mind hitting that thumbs up button on your way out of the video, 
helps the channel and the YouTube algorithm. Also subscribe if you like more videos like this, tech reviews, and DIY projects like accent walls, LED smart accent walls. We're doing a full remodel in this house that I'm in right now. We will eventually be doing a full gym. I'm stuffing a Muay Thai bag right now as well. I do Muay Thai, I do kickboxing, I do boxing. That I absolutely love, don't get me wrong. The pump, I love the pump off weightlifting. Nothing can compare to that, but the cardio kicking your butt on the Muay Thai bag, that's sick. So stay tuned, subscribe for that full gym remodel in my office space slash shop. It's gonna be sick. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one. My name's Chris, take care for now. Bye-bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.